what I'm going to tell you now, what I was taught is there's four jumps out, okay? The first one, sort of tell, is from your position, jump so It's not a this, it's not a come off your centre line and come back. All it is, and when I say it's not, within our lineage, okay, it's not. Whatever anyone else does and everyone else's lineage and JKD and all this sort of stuff, good luck to you. Nothing to do with us. Our lineage is, jump so is a sinking hand, so the hand just slightly sinks. So if he's punching, that's my jump so there and I can work. Now, that's a Wing Chun punch, before anyone asks, okay? We're working the Jung So against a Wing Chun punch, yeah? It's not against a boxer. He's not gonna do this in the street and stand there and look at me for me to nick his lovely necklace and tweak his beard, okay? Yeah? So from this position, Jung So just goes Wing Chun from there, then I can work from these positions along my center line. Do you understand that? <laughs> me standing still. So I'm tell. Just staying structured. It's never going to happen, but it gives you the structure of when you start to move. All right? So when we hit Chum Q and we start with the first jump cell from our form, from here, it's not a sinking hand as people think. It drives forward into our technique. So if he's throwing a punch and I drive into him here, it goes from jump cell to cut that position to punch. Okay? Now, obviously, he's not going to stand there with his hand down by his side, scratching his leg or picking his arse. Yeah, he's going to want to hit me again. So this position has to make contact, if he's not got a guard, to drive him back for me to do something else. So if he's coming in with something here, bang, 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 yeah, I'm in. Okay? That's the Wing Chun side of it. The technique within our lineage. Not any other Wing Chun lineage that anyone else does within the Ip Ching lineage. That's how Sifu Ip Ching taught me, so I'm teaching you. Right, jump out in a fight or whatever, you're not going to use it and say to your opponent from here, if he's throwing any sort of punch, there's my jump out. If he's throwing an overhand, right, oh, wait a minute, I've got to try and find my jump out. Yeah? You've got to practice this till you understand how you're going to use it. You've got to understand the concept of it. I'm not going to stand here like this and wait for him to throw a punch and just think, I'm going to cover up. Okay? I'm not going to stand here and just think, well, I can do this, oh, because by that time it's already hit me. So if we look at that, a short little hook, jump so is not going to work against it, is it? No. So jump so is best used if you're in close and you feel tension. For example, you've hit them and their arms come up, yeah? So you can use the jump so to press it, yeah? Do you understand? Yes, sir. I've already got contact. Uh, but why would I push him away in a fight? I can hear people saying that already. Why would you push someone away like that position? Maybe I don't feel comfortable being too close. Yeah? Maybe I don't feel comfortable with his hands up. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to punch his arms. And then all of a sudden, my hands like pop by his hands. Oh, man. Do you know what I mean? It's entirely up to the person. So if that's there and I want to use something, I can use the angle. Yeah? If his guard's up and I want to pull, I can use it. But he might headbutt me. Yeah, because I'm going to go and keep myself there. Okay? So as soon as I do anything like the springboard, boom. Someone's going forward. Or I could always go, what's he going to do? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Trying to cover all the bases so we don't get spazzy questions. Right, so from this position here, so the jump cell can cut across and you can work your positions from there. So the jump cell can be used here. Jump cell can be used against energy. People don't walk in here like that. No, I'm talking about if you've twatted, bang, and their arms go up to cover if you had knocked them out. Yeah? Or you can get the arms go up and you just go like this. <laughs> that's how we used to do it on the door, apparently, so that's what people think. Pack it up. Got one the other day. It's not a restraint, that's, that's a, got to be an SIA restraint. You know, mate, you can't get somebody who's a lot stronger than you and you go, and they bust your nose. Practicing those people. So anyway, so from these positions here, if you're using Wing Chun, you're using the concepts, the speed of the move, the double move, the control. Trapping hands, would you use trapping hands like that? I don't know. I have. Maybe I've just fought spastics all my life. You never know. So you've got to understand these positions. You've got to understand how your jump style works. If I'm always going to stand and wait and be the counter punch, you're like, I'm going to get twatted. So we've got to be able to move. So even if my hands are from here, as soon as he comes in, pump, pump, I'm already in. Okay, my position is already on my centre line. 
So then you're starting to feel, understand your, if he's pressing against it, it can fold, you can come back with something else, you can work, but again, it's on that center line. And again, it's a concept from there. How do I use it? Does everyone understand that? Yes, it is. It's quite easy, you know, when you break it down to that. Can you use it on the outside with a punch like you would like a bill? Uh, bill, bill is best against the outside of a punch. Right. Yeah. Like this, if you cover that position. Yeah, use a bill, use tan tail as long as you've got you enough use structure. I jump tail across you from here, I don't particularly like because I'm right into that punch there. And you yeah. use the left hand, don't you? If I'm on the inside, I've got to remember the, the more inside I am, the closer he is to hit me. Yeah. So everything I have to do has to make this become a guard rather than another attacking position. Right. So if I'm here waiting for it, that's not really going to work. Okay, in, in reality it's not. Right. Maybe in the class and stuff like that, but the reality is if I think he's going to come in, that fact I'm already in. Because once I'm in, I can nut and use everything. Yeah? And the, the, so in that position you just have to drive? Yeah, the primary is always to stop yourself from being hit first, and the yeah. technique and everything comes with it as a secondary. Okay. But you can't be dealing with people for too long. Yeah. This is what I try and get through to you all the time. If I'm here and I'm dealing with him 10, 15, 20 seconds, it's far too long. Not simply because I'm trying to spout bullshit, but because the reality is, if you're out with him on a night out and I bang him and we start scrapping, I would expect you to be hitting me from the side. Yeah. Smacking a glass in my face, because that's the way we are. If anyone doesn't think that, then they've, they've never been in a real fight. Yeah, so if you're here, boom, 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 God, is he gonna go, like, expect to be punched. Make sense? Yes, it Simple enough. Good, thank you, Chris.